Today, Michelle, Annie, and I are over at the Jane Leslie Textile Studio, and we're working on a series of seven different scarves to represent the seven different areas of Connor Prairie. Putting these uh, scarves together involves a good amount of math. Thankfully, it's all basic math, but we have to figure out the length of the scarves and how many for each color that are needed, the amount that is needed in the weft, which is what we're weaving back and forth. Once it is all measured out, then we have to do each of the dye pots individually. Some of them involve dyeing first with onion skins and then over dyeing with blue to get a green. Some of them involved using cochineal to get the beautiful reds, uh, onion skins or marigolds for the yellows. And for the orange, we did a nice um, onion skin and over dyed it with red of cochineal. Then once they are completed, rinsed out and dried, we bring them to the loom and we will take them and separate them according to the colors in the pattern. We will thread them one at a time, so each individual thread is being handled in, uh, at least twice. Once they are put through the heddles, they then have to come forward and through the reed. They are then tied on and then we're ready to begin weaving. That can take about a half a day, depending on how quick you are at getting the loom threaded, and either anywhere from a half a day to a day to weave off one of these scarves. So there is a good amount of time that's involved in producing these. The seven different areas that we are representing, the first one is the Civil War journey. We've chosen red, white, and blue because of the patriotism, but also we've woven it with a, a broken twill to represent the chevrons on a uniform. The fringe on the end is rather short and it is twisted in order to be much like an epaulet that you would find on, a on the shoulder of a general or someone of that sort. The next one is the treetop area and we chose to use brown, green, yellow, blue. The blue represents the river that's running through the grounds and then we've got the brown for the trees, the green for the leaves and the yellow of the sunlight coming through. It's woven in brown so that we're keeping it all nature related. Next area that we are doing is the Prairie Town area and it was requested that we represent the colors of each one of the buildings. So we have those um, put onto the loom and they are in somewhat of a pleasing visual, but not in any uh, specific sequence. Being woven with brown to represent the path that runs through Prairie Town. The Connor House, we wanted the brick red, we wanted the green of the shutters, and the white of the columns of the house. The green also represents all of the trees that would have been in the area that the house, a big beautiful brick house up on a hill surrounded by trees. Then we have the Lenape area, and their colors are predominantly red and black with white as an accent. And the pattern was determined to be much representative of beadwork that you might see the Native Americans doing. So then we have the 1859 balloon voyage area, which is the orange and the yellow balloon. And the weave pattern is much like the netting that you would see that holds the balloon in place but also we have the long twisted fringe which represents the cables that hold it to the ground. And the seventh area is the Welcome Center. And since everyone comes through the Welcome Center to come out onto the grounds, we tried to do a lot of greens and blues to represent the river that is a focus for us as well as all of the trees and the natural areas that are around us. So as this project is coming to an end, we're really excited to see them all finished. They've been fun to watch them uh, come together to take shape, to represent the areas that we have. The colors are absolutely beautiful together and we look forward to sharing all of those with you.